so this is a fishbowl activity, meaning we are active and you are witnesses, lending your support and ears to the process. At the same time, if any one of you is called to actively participate, there's an empty chair for you. And um, I would like the support of somebody who has a, a, a easy way to calculate. We're, we're starting with a certain amount in the center. Until that amount becomes zero and, and the money has been divided, it could still move hands afterwards. But initially, if somebody is willing to track that amount for us and just, as we do it, say how much is left, that would be helpful. So we don't have to do that. Are you willing to do that? Thank you. Is now the time to add it and add? Yes. Yes. Um, we can just pause. It's a bit clumsy, I suppose. All the way through, you can add, um, you can add or subtract. If we call, if anyone else wants to add, if they just write the number down on an orange one with their name and the way they're going to do it, and they can just put it in the middle here. So, um, I would like to start. Starting with one seven six four eight eight. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. And adding 50. Excuse me. I don't know who's the person with yet, so I'm a bit of a dude. You're confused? What's actually happening? What is happening is we have an amount of money and we need to decide how it's going to be divided between What's us. What's confusing me is that I felt that the amount we wanted or the person hadn't been reached, so I'm not sure what's in this file. What's in this file is the amount that people are actually committed to. That's what we have to divide between us. So, so there were requests before, but we, that was a request without attachment to receiving that amount. So that was a guideline of what we think we would need for our sustainability. And now we're working with what we've actually got and just figuring out how to distribute it based on who has um, a stake in it. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, sorry. So we've also got um, plus 20 she plus... She has it. She has it. Okay. Plus 20 again. Okay, so, um, so there are two moves in this thing called Money Pile, and I also want to credit Dominic Barter for having invented this form. One move is push, and one move is pull. It's push when I move money to some, some other place, and it's pull, and it's pull when I take, uh, take money towards me. So I am starting with giving the venue 300. And uh, the reason it's 300, um, is that I want it to be substantial so they would feel it and yet considering that overall our sustainability is is not cared for fully I feel like I want to spread that out I don't have a specific way of spreading it out between everyone but I want to at least yeah at this moment I don't feel up to Right. No, after. So 300 went over there. Cool. Oh, we haven't taken the expenses out, so... Oh, what are the expenses? 293, so I'm going to... Mika, if we can take... I'm pushing 293 to cover our expenses. Yes, of course. The, that, it, can we declare that incontrovertible? Mm -hmm. or? And yeah. then... Um, I'm pushing 45 to Cleona to cover Carolyn's filming, so she's not having to cover the whole lot and Carolyn's getting sufficiently remunerated. Um, How much more where do we have Where are we at now, Mika? Thank you. 
Yeah. It's, it's six, seven, eight, so if it goes on to the um, But it's more or less we have a thousand left, I uh, think. Yeah. I want to push 300 from this to Sophie because for me, I have the capacity to fund this and I want some money because I want it to be an interdependent thing and I want to practice receiving. So thank you for covering the full half that I asked for and I'm happy to cover what you need. So Cleona is pushing 300 back well, she from doesn't her 45. Need to know that. She doesn't need to know that. She's only holding the... the oh, okay, so that's from that, sorry, yeah. yeah. So, so change that to 125 over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What, what was that? She said it was helpful for them to know. Yeah. 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 So... So we've got 952.88 in Nine hundred and fifty-two eighty-eight. And how much is? Let's clear? decide first on the point eighty-eight. That's so important. Do you want it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. Please don't. Let's really play. <laughs> so I want to say that um, you know, with the two previous events that I did, having yielded essentially it, within the range of what we were asking for, I don't feel any sense of stress around sustainability. So I, I really want <coughs> both of you to feel good about it. And I don't have a number associated with it. I just know that my care goes there and that I am very happy to pick up whatever is left. And I, I, I'm not coming here with a sense of need, just with a sense of um, ease. Um, how much did you say was left? 952.88. So I'm just going to write that down. 952.88. To Bay MBC. And then I'm wondering about. But that's all there is. Yeah, I was going to give some of mine back to Fiona. Ah, you're going to have a, a, a money pile fight. Okay, let's watch <laughs> it. I, I, can, I can help you with that. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm 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 passing a hundred to you. Okay. Just make yours two twenty-five. I'm not saying how. That's that's that I'm with the hundred. Thank you. I will receive it. Can you say why you're touched? Why you're so touched? I have no idea. I think there's something about making it clear multiple times that I'm okay not to have any and for you to still give it. Yeah. Because it's not logical. Yeah. So I want to say why I want to give it to you. Um, it's to increase flow. Because um, I know that you're okay and the amount of giving that you do, both financially and in action, is incalculable. It's not something that I can put a number on. But it, it, it's something that I want to nurture. Um, to have a little more ease for you in doing it. Thank you. <laughs> no fight. That's all. You stole my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do want to also give back something to you on that basis as well because I see this enormous heart and this enormous giving and supporting of this work in the world beyond this filming in this moment. And so you're sort of using thing. money to value her? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't understand what to do. Just sit in the discomfort for a bit and see what emerges.
something about interdependence and wanting to hold it more beyond just Cleona taking responsibility for it and supporting community, supporting Karenin's well-being for what she contributes. So can my money signify, be symbolic of my need for independence, but yeah, separating it, it from the worth of an yes, individual it, business? Yes, it feels different. Yeah. Does it feel different in you? Yeah. It feels different, but at the same time, because of all of the context of um, language and convention, it feels a bit unclear as well. I, that was kind of what I was trying to aim at when I was talking about nurturing the flow. Yeah. It feels um, actually, um, I said it before, and now the second time that I say it, it feels like tapping into the sacred for me. Mm -hmm. Those words. Cool. That, that this is a fountain, and fountains run out if they're not nurtured. Mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of what it is. <laughs> hmm? That's a nice way of, visual way of putting mm -hmm. it. So I'm filling 50 to the fountain. But how, what do you end up on then? 275. 275. Yeah, which is more than half of what, well, which is... Well, you're already covering the 45 and now you're covering 150. Yeah, but she's getting more than half of the 425 that she wanted to receive. Yes. Okay. And it feels good. Is there any more moves? Are there any more moves that you want to make? Um. <laughs> Lots, but <laughs> I'm sitting with some of them for a minute. I feel really good about the venue getting a, a good amount. I think it's important. Um, I feel I feel good to receive some myself, which is very close. I feel a little bit uncomfortable. It's quite close to what I requested, and it's a lot further for you from what you requested. Mm -hmm. That's my discomfort currently. But I'm also not sure that the amount of money we're talking is going to make much of a difference. No, not really. Not in the large picture. Yeah. So that was the slight conflict. Mm. Yeah. Settling? Yeah. Settled? Mm -hmm. Settling, but <laughs> still discomfort. So, is the discomfort something that you want to continue to care for within this money pile, or is it yours to work with later? That's the decision I think I want from you. Mm. Trying to play out the different scenarios. I'm really, really, really appreciating that you're sticking with it. There's something about the sticking with it energy of this that seems essential for the transformation we're trying to do, not settling too soon, you know? Good, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so my impulse is to want to give more money to Bay and BC, and I'm wondering if that's... Um... I, I want to say something before you yeah. go any further, which is suddenly what happened in me is that I received your lack of settling as the gift of your care. Hmm. It registered just the fact that you weren't settling registered as care. Do you, do you yeah. understand? So, so there's I've... actually so much more that, than the financial transaction that's totally. going on that I, I f have felt in all our experiences up until now, two years ago and this time, I have felt a kind of like um, mama bear energy about wanting BNVC to do well, that right now is showing up in the form of this discomfort. I, I don't need anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs>
and I've okay so I'm gonna settle and I'm gonna but I also feel a really strong commitment to keep supporting Bay MVC in all the other ways and that this having my sustainability needs met by this helps me yes. have capacity to do that so I'm gonna yeah. settle with that then. yeah <sighs> Leonie, are you good with the choices I'm making? Yes. Thank you. Anything you want to say in closing? Just amazing to be part of the process and thank you for including me. Yeah. To experience it. It's not from the audience, but from here. It's amazing. And, and, and for me, this is the first time that I sat in this. It's like, I don't know, I've finally lost count of how many of these I've done. I think it's approaching 10. It's the first time that I'm sitting in this without any anxiety whatsoever mm. about what will be the result. And it feels so wonderful to be fully in the flow. Mm. And, and also to have a sense that this is for this moment. I have no way of knowing what in the future will come from anyone in this group. It's not a closed system. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say how Wait, 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 oh, sorry. Can you wait, wait, can you wait? Yeah, you. No, yeah, you want me to in, Just to talk close. about the impact. Okay, so, um, yeah, lots of inner, conditioned responses going on that I'm trying to shed light on at the same time as doing this and um, done this sort of process about six times and the first four involved hysterical tears and hyperventilating. <laughs> <laughs> My public torture from Mickey Cashton. <laughs> Not all of them were with me. No. Okay, I've only done minimal torture. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, enjoying it as a process and learning a lot from it. Thank you. And I think we can take about five minutes of hearing from people in the group. How have you been affected by witnessing this? So I wanted to say um, that I'm really, I'm really touched actually and I'm very grateful for witnessing this. Because what, how has it affected you? Um, I'm actually feeling very strong connection and I'm feeling Say that again? I'm actually feeling very strong connection here to everything, especially with the Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, speaking from a position of a hunt and that um, has on my mind. Ah, thank you. She is speaking from the position of the fountain that has run dry. So witnessing Cleona's fountain being nourished is actually nourishing her, I'm guessing, in some small way. Yeah. And probably the longing for the communities in which you're involved to recognize your need to be nourished. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that to us. Other ways in which people have been affected? I'm quite moved just to see the authenticity of your conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can see the shift in the room kept shifting as, as the process went on, watching you, um, you know, uh, discussing each other how you're pushing and pulling. And, uh, and I had so many questions in my head as I was doing this, which is, oh, maybe we should be people doing more here, and, and should we, should I, you know, so many questions about what could be right, and then at the moment you said, we don't know what's going to happen from going forward, and then suddenly go, exactly, um, who knows yeah. what any of us are going to do, and come from this um, going forward. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seeing flow in action. Seeing what in action? Flow in action. And um, I do have one question, which was I wasn't sure I experienced cool. So I felt like everyone pushed rather than cool, but I. That's, that's true. That's what happened. 
a pool would be saying, I would like yeah. $100 for this. Um, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that's part of the mother to receive unconditionally higher About the pooling? The fact that there wasn't any pooling. Um, I don't know. I have more of a sense that having been together for three days in Stroud and then today that there was a very strong bond of so much care that it, it, was, it just was organic in this way. There was no need for it to happen. Yeah, does that ring true? Mm. Yeah? Yes, Ray. In, in, in UK politics, there's a, a round with the budget every year, and I just, at the end, I have this vision of you being with all the ministers. And instead of this horrible protest, they're all fighting, but you're there and they're starting to give to each other. <laughs> The whole ministry behind them can be emotionally part of the process of playing ego with you three. And then they're so happy that they push the money away to some other ministry because they completely get why that's going to help what they're trying to do. Just, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. I love it. Yeah. And, and I also want to say that I, as you were speaking, I realized the making of the video that is coming out of it is going to have unexpected consequences. It's a, it's a shift in the field that surrounds my work that we don't know what it will do. Anybody else? One last thing before we close? Yeah. I've got a little one. Um, I had lots of questions, but they've kind of I've lost them. But I got really confused. And in, in Africa and India, the way they do this is not with post-its, <laughs> with themes, because every village has a theme. And then I could have followed what was done yeah. where a bit better. So it's more of a presentational yeah. thing. I think in, in the, the more rigorous form, people are asked to bring cash. And then you have an actual pile of money. And you move money around and not pieces of paper. Well, okay.